Hello and welcome to Linux Hints YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about how to free memory in C programming language by using the free function. The C language is efficient enough to handle its memory management. It means that whenever you declare a regular variable of any data type in C, the programming language itself is responsible for deallocating or releasing this memory once your program has been successfully executed. However, in case of dynamic memory allocation, since you are the one allocating the memory manually, that is why you have to be the one to release it. Well, in the library stdlib.h, there is a dedicated function for serving this purpose, which is the free function. First things first, syntax of the free function. Well, the general syntax of the free function is as, here you can see the void keyword before the free function states that the return type of this function is void. This means that there won't be any return values from this function. Now arises a new question that you must answer for yourself. What is the need of using the free function in C for freeing up the system memory? We all know that our computer systems have limited memory because of which we can never run infinite programs in it. In the case of automatic memory allocation, the computer takes care of freeing up the memory when your program has finished its execution. However, when we allocate the memory manually from the heap, we have to free it one way or another. Otherwise, we will eventually run short of memory and we will not be able to run our programs any further. This is where the free function comes into play. We use this function at the end of a program right before the return statement so that the heap memory should be returned to the computer system before the termination of the program. To demonstrate this, we are going to create a simple program that will ask the user on how much elements does the user want and then it will assign the precise amount of memory that those elements require. So open up a directory and open up a new terminal inside it. And with this terminal, you are going to create a new file. Let's call it free.c. Now we are going to open up this file in the text editor and start writing some code. Now what we are doing here is that we are creating a pointer variable and a variable that will store the input from the user. Next up we are prompting the user to type in the number of elements that he wants. We are scanning that number and storing it inside this n variable. Next up we are creating some dynamic memory allocation by using the calloc function and we are passing in the size of this integer. Since we know that the calloc function initializes the whole memory with zeros before actualization occurs. However, the main point to be noted in this code is that even though this code was quite compact and simple, we still made use of the free function once the desired functionality was achieved just to release the heap memory that we had acquired as a result of executing this C program. At the very end of the program, after we have freed the memory location, we are actually prompting the user that the dynamic memory that we allocated ourselves was successfully freed. We're going to save this program and we're going to compile it using the GCC compiler and then run it using the terminal. So I forgot to put in quotation marks over here and after putting this quotation marks, our program should work. Time to execute this program. Let's give the input of let's say 4. So as you can see, the calloc function actually created a dynamic memory for 4 elements. And afterwards, at the very end of the file before returning 0, we actually freed up our memory. And this statement is prompting the user that the dynamic memory was successfully freed. Well, that is it for this very short tutorial on how to use the free function. You can learn more informative stuff about Linux operating system and system calls in C programming language by clicking the link in the description box and heading over to Linux Saints website. And that is it for this video. Thank you.